Hello, hello. Um, can I move this little thing around? Oh, I guess not. <clears throat> Good morning. Well, I'm saying morning because I just got up and it's 11.30. So, um, I'll wait for, oh, man, you guys real, really popped on in here. How's everyone doing? Great. Um, I kind of just wanted to start my day with a little conversation. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. And I'm hanging out in front of my new moss wall. How cool is this? My neighbors built it because they're the bomb. Um, it's actually going to be seen in my music video coming up. Which I'm super excited about. Um, so, tune into that. I think that's gonna come out at the end of this month. I gotta get an exact date and I'll let you guys know, but I'm very excited about it. It's directed by Emma Higgins, who directed um, the Ladylike music video for Ingrid Andrus, which is why I found Emma, was I saw that video and I was like, this is everything. So, um, super excited for that. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry, I'm reading your questions now. Oh, what in God's name is behind me? This is my, again, this is my new moss wall. My neighbors built it. They are very talented. Um, you should totally check their stuff out, which I've tagged them in my last Instagram photo. Um, they're super talented and I used it in my video and I was like, you know what? Let's spice up the apartment. And now I've got a little music corner here with my piano, and I feel like I'm in a forest. So, um, what's going on, you guys? Let's chat. Let's do the thing. Love from England. I've always wanted to go, and I'm actually just saying it now, trying to come there in July. So, put the feelers out. Let's see what happens. Send out the good stuff to the universe, because I'm freaking ready. Never been outside of this hemisphere. And um, it's time. Any other acting projects? I do not have any in the works right now other than season seven of the Goldbergs. <laughs> what? Tune in on ABC Wednesday nights. Um, yeah, I was about to be like, is it Tuesday nights? And I just said Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Before Schooled, which congrats on season two for Schooled. Um, I hope I can still do some cameos on that show because I'm a 90s baby. So, um, one moment. I need my coffee. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, love from all over, you guys. New York and Spain, thank you. I want to go to New York. Italy, <laughs> that's, that's on the list. If I go to Europe, I'm doing a little doot 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 doot. So, I will... I will let you guys know when I'm there. Trust me, you'll be getting way too many posts about it. Um, hi, Christina. Let's see. Any any uh, questions you got? <laughs> this feels like such a weird thing. Does anyone have any questions for me? Um, I'll just... Who's your favorite artist at the moment? Oh, that's hard. That's very hard. Um, my favorite, like, pop artist that's just a go-to because he is everything, is Troy Sivan. He's phenomenal. I got to see him in concert at the Greek. Um, but otherwise, Sarah Bareilles is usually my, my favorite artist of all time. Also saw her at the Greek and cried three times. Um, what shows do you have planned? I have, um, and thanks mom <laughs> for throwing that in there. Um, I have a couple shows coming up, so I don't know if anyone is in the Georgia or Tennessee area, but on the 31st of this month, I'll be performing a show in Georgia, um, which I'm going to have all these up soon with flyers so you can download tickets and stuff. And then I have, um, the Bluebird Cafe show, which I just announced that I'm so excited about. It's my first time performing at the Bluebird Cafe on June 1st. You have to check it out. I've got some great friends there. Um, that are so good and I can't wait for you to see it. Um, but I know that it's very few tickets available for that. So if you can't make that, um, there's another Georgia show on the 2nd of June. Um, I also am doing CMA Fest, which I think it's Friday the 5th or 6th. 
that next week of June. Um, I'll be performing at the Maui Gym stage. I've got some meet and greet booths set up throughout that weekend, so I hope I can like meet you guys and hang out. Um, also, I have a show here in Los Angeles on May 24th, the date of my EP release, um, with a whole band, and I'm going to be doing songs from the EP as well as other ones, so I hope you can come. Anyway, that was a plug. Um, what's the biggest thing you would tell your younger self? Uh, trust your gut. That's the key through this whole thing. Trust yourself because you know. When do we get an album? Well, the EP's a uh, May 24th. I'm not sure about a full album. If you tell everyone to download this EP, and then maybe that will spark another album to come out of it. So share the way out, please. My favorite color is purple. The only meet and greets that I have in LA right now would be the Hotel Cafe show, but I will let you guys know. I could do like a coffee hang. Coffee house hang will take over the whole place. Hopefully. Do you watch Game of Thrones? I just started Game of Thrones and I binged watched it all day yesterday. I'm now somewhere in season five or six and it's gotten very good. I didn't like the first two seasons. By season, I want to say season five was my favorite season. <sighs> they upped their game. Huge Harry Potter fan, for the, those who asked. He, Hufflepuff all the way. Favorite Lady Antebellum song. Um, what was the one I used to always sing? That I, It starts with an H. Honey. American Honey. Love that song. Um, favorite book and movie at the moment. Um, my favorite book is Dear Mr. You by Mary Louise Parker. It is delicious. As Beverly Goldberg would say, um, it's beautifully written. It's like each chapter is a different letter to a man in her life. And it could be someone that was like her son or her cousin or a guy that she met on the train for five minutes. But some a man that has impacted her life in a way that inspired her to write this letter to him in each chapter. And you don't know who it's about until the end of the letter. And you're like, oh, it's her dad. It's just brilliantly done. I love her. Um, favorite movie? Leaf. I don't know. That's hard. My favorite movie is P.S. I Love You, though. Hopeless Romantic. I see you, Hunter, asking the best Halloween costume I've ever had. That would be a fart cloud. That's right. How, do you ask? Oh, well, let me tell you. So, I had a... <laughs> A brown bodysuit that covered head to toe that I found at Goodwill. And then I went to Joanne's Fabric and I bought different shades of brown and lime green uh, tulle netted like fabric. Cut them up and we sewed. I say we, but shout out to Carrie Smith at the Goldberg's wardrobe department because she always helps me with my costumes and she's amazing. So she would sew little patches of different shades all over. So I kind of looked like a dirty loofah. But pretty much throughout the night, I would have a fart machine on my phone and I would um, run around the party and interrupt people's conversations and go and then run away. I'm funny. I don't know what, you know. First song I ever learned on guitar. I still haven't really learned guitar. Um, I think I just made something up. I didn't like learn a song. That sounds weird, but I, yeah. Favorite documentary? Ooh, there's so many. The Jinx, um, or, oh, um, no, wait. So I watch documentaries like it's my job. This isn't a documentary, but it kind of is because it's not really. It's scripted, but it was um, Manhunt Unabomber. So it was a scripted short series, I think on Netflix, about the Unabomber, and it's, phenomenal my first concert was the backstreet boys and i fell asleep three songs in and it was devastating because i didn't see them again until i was 20 so don't fall asleep seven year olds um okay you like the rap city episode how fun was that to film oh, so fun it was so fun every episode we filmed was really fun unless i'm sick then 
then it's not so fun. Hello, Montana. Am I engaged? No. That's a hard no for me. Um, that would take some time before I decide to do that. But one day. Uh, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. I'll leave it at that. Favorite song I sang on the Goldbergs was... Um, Ooh, I know. Somebody to love. I got to do that in the, like, Christmas. Or we did, like, a... It was, like, a Christmas show. And I got to... They, I was supposed to sing a Hanukkah song. But instead, I guess, I'm singing this song. And it, it was so fun. I love that song. Um, look at my mama plug in. Find shows on HaleyRantia.com. Love my mom. Can you come perform in Chicago? I would love to because I'm sorry to every other city, but I think Chicago is my favorite city right now. I've been there so many times in the last couple of years. Um, shout out to Acanto. It's this brilliantly delicious restaurant across from the Bean. Um, you won't find better food. It's so good. There's so many places there that are so good, though. Anyway, I, I have to go back. Now I want to go back. What's in the cup? Folgers in your cup. Folgers was really nice and gave me a ton of coffee because I did the jingle episode um, of the Goldbergs. And they just sent me coffee and a shirt and a cup. And I'm like, I've been drinking it. So thank you, Folgers. Did you decide to go darker with your hair? Ooh, now's the time to talk about it. So my hair's wet right now, but it's kind of blondish, and I don't know. It's not that I don't like it, but I really couldn't decide if I wanted to go darker or lighter. So I really confused um, the woman doing my hair, Tara. <laughs> Shout out. Um, because she's like, I don't know what you want me to do. So I decided to go lighter, and then I was like, I don't know if I wanted to go lighter. So help me out, you guys, lighter or darker. I kind of want to go a little Auburn, too. No? Um. <laughs> Some hard-hitting questions we have here. The most important thing to you right now? Probably this cup of coffee. Um. The most important thing... I mean, I guess I'm supposed to be saying stuff like, my family. And, but, but I, I don't know. Like, that's hard. Why is that hard? I guess all of you. <laughs> um, 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 I'm not engaged for everyone who keeps asking. I love, by the way, can we just talk about for a quick second? That when I deleted all the stuff off my Instagram, I didn't delete it, I archived it. It'll come back, don't worry. Um, to kind of start this whole EP thing. I posted a photo of me doing this. How I was excited. And every single one of you was like, she's engaged. Oh, wait, she's pregnant? She's engaged. I'm like, nope. <laughs> the exact opposite. <laughs> I'm presenting you an EP about heartbreak. Uh, yeah, no, so definitely not engaged. How do you feel? I don't know what that is. What am I up to this weekend? Well, my friend Alexis G. Zoll is about to come over. We're going to have a beach day. Um, what else? I'm actually doing a beach cleanup day with my friend Gabby um, and my, possibly my friend Rudy. going to clean up some Venice Beach areas. I, I'm not sure who's hosting that. but. Um, and then on Saturday, I might hang with my friend Rudy. Yeah, so just chilling. Before, I'm about to be traveling around and doing a ton of band rehearsals and stuff. So, soaking up my weekend with some fun friend things. Um, who do you want to collaborate with in the future? Mm, tough. I always just want to gravitate towards other female artists. Um... But there's so many good male artists that I would like to do a duet with. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. How about you tell me? Who would you like to hear me do stuff with? 
Why is everyone asking about the ring? It's on the wrong hand. Okay, I'm not engaged. This is my mom's ring from childhood that she gave to me. Clearing that up. Mm -hmm. Favorite dish, fried chicken. Uh, man, I'm really behind on... What thoughts about Khaleesi? Oh, I see you, Dustin. Um, Daenerys Targaryen. To be honest with you, I get very confused by all these very large names in the show. So it's taken me a while. Um, Khaleesi is queen. She's the best. She fights for freedom. I'm all about it. I, there's so many questions. Is that real behind you? Yes and no. Uh, da, da, da. Do you like singing better or acting? That's very tough. Um, I would say, I don't know. I, I would have always said singing, and then acting kind of became its own thing that I love. I don't know, it just, it's completely different, but I can kind of like use one for the other. Um, in a weird way, so that, that's a tough one. My favorite comedy show? Oh, you're gonna throw that at me. The Goldbergs. Um, outside of The Goldbergs. There is a show called Barry that I really like. That's on HBO. Um, oh, I'm missing, I'm totally, like, I know there's one that I'm thinking of, and I'm just not gonna say it, because I can't remember it right off the top of my head. It's on Netflix, though. It almost came to me. It didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I need my, my juice. My morning juice. Um, yeah, you guys, what's your favorite Haley song? That's what my dad asked. Do you guys have a favorite? You will when this EP drops. <laughs> Sorry. Favorite Backstreet Boy, AJ, because he's mysterious and delicious. I, that's my new word now. Delicious. I blame Beverly Goldberg for that. Um, I'm super far behind on, on these questions, so I'm sorry. Hey, Alabama, you wanted a shout out? Uh, you saw Ali and AJ in Chicago. You guys, my friends Ali and AJ are insanely talented, and I'm dying to go see them in concert. They're on tour right now, Sanctuary Tour. Check out their music because it's phenomenal. It's like your synth pop dream, 80s. It's amazing. Um, playing anywhere other than the Bluebird in Nashville. Right now, it's the Bluebird and then stuff at CMA Fest, so if you check all that out, I'll be there. Um, yeah, and then someone just said you should do a song with Colby. I believe you mean Colby Calais. And yes, please. Gone West, another another band shout out, by the way. Um, my friends in Gone West have been putting out new music, and it's so fun. Their song Confetti was replaying in my head constantly the other day. Um, they're so good, and I'm super excited for them because they've been touring around too. So go check out their stuff. Because it's um, Colby Calais' group with Jason Reeves and Justin. I'm going to say his last name wrong, and that's so disappointing. Um, and Nelly, Nelly Reeves. You guys have to check it out. Do you have siblings? It is just me. Did you just wake up at noon? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, okay, I can't keep up with For some reason, it's not letting me hold this. So if I missed your question, I'm really sorry. Um... Most embarrassing moment on the Goldbergs? Oh, I was doing a scene where I had to run in. Um, why is this moving so fast? I had to run into um, Barry and I were trying to make like breakfast, I think, for our mom. And there was soap flying out of the dishwasher and like fire off of the stove. And then there was like batter flying out of a blender. And I ran in and I slipped on the batter and I hit my head on the floor and got a concussion and I was mortified but I tried to play it off I jumped back I was like oh let's uh refilm sorry let's refilm We're, I'm good I'm ready to go let's keep going and they're like you have batter in your hair we have to start over and I'm like 
no, 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 like, okay, okay, we'll fix that, and then we'll keep going. Cut to me sitting in the makeup chair just like this. And they're like, Haley, are you okay? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just, like, kind of dizzy. <laughs> and they're like, okay, you're going home. <laughs> we are done for today. So that was mortifying. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Who would I do a duet with if they are dead or alive? Whitney Houston. But there's, I mean, not even a comparison. I couldn't do that. It would be embarrassing for me. Uh, what summer movies are you looking forward to? John Wick 3. Who's with me? Who's ready? I don't know about you guys. My favorite scene in John Wick 2. They're walking along the um, subway scene. And I want to say John Wick's at the top. And then the other guy's at the bottom, the stairs, a like level. And he's, they're both shooting like this, just with silencers on. They're like, Pew. It was amazing. Love that movie. Um, fan of Paramore, of course. Who isn't? Uh, do you like Ariana Grande? Yes. If you do sing something from her. <laughs> I can't do that to myself right now. Um, I don't, I can't even, yeah. Uh, I want, I want, I want to. I just woke up. Um, you guys have some fun questions. How old am I? I'm 25. They say never ask a woman her age, but I don't care. I think there's grace in age. I didn't say that right, but you know. I would totally love to collaborate with Alan AJ because they are amazing. And I looked up to them when I was little and now they're my friends and I feel like Somewhere I put that in the universe when 12-year-old me was singing No One, their song, No One, on my boombox. No one. So good. They're doing that on tour right now, by the way. Go check them out. God, I'm so excited. Um, okay. Do you like indie music? Yes. Would you ever do another movie like God's Not Dead? Probably. I think so. I had a good time on that movie. Um, it, was, it was cool. I, I learned a lot. Uh, what do you think about Africa? I've never been there. Sounds pretty cool. I'd love to go sometime. That's all I really know. Unless, oh no, unless there's like something going on in the world that I don't know about. And I just sounded like an idiot. I hope not. I hope everything's fine. Um, what's your favorite go-to pick-me-up song? Ooh, right now, even though it's silly is uh, I Don't Want It At All by Kim Petras. It's like, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it at all. It's just really fun. Um, but if I'm gonna do like a throwback kind of thing, I love Babylon, but the, um, oh, I might need my dad's help here, cause we, so not, it's the version by Matthew, Dave, no, I forgot, crap, Gray? I can't remember, Babylon, B E. B-A-B-Y-L-O-N. Um, am I coming to London? I'm trying to in July. July. Dad and Mom, I'm leaving you. I'm going to London. Um, favorite song is I Hate That You Don't Love Me. Thank you. That's an older one that I put out when I was like 15. It's on YouTube. I don't know why I don't have that one on online. Like to buy. Oh, look at that old makeup. Um, I love that one though. So uh, thank you. Okay, I have time for a few more questions here. Um, wow, there's a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes my dad really cracks me up. Um, Someone goes, I won't ask your age, but how much do you weigh? Too much. Just kidding. I mean, I should work out, but I don't. Why you wake up so late? Be oh, it oh, Babylon's by David Gray, by the way. Sorry. Why do I wake up so late? Because I really like laying this way. It's horizontally is my favorite way to be. Um, 
I like to sleep in. It just is what it is. But I've also been going to bed really early, so I don't know if I'm just getting old. Uh, my dad said we have relatives there to keep an eye on you when I go to London, so we'll see about that. Mm. I remember you used to have a song on YouTube, Make Me Believe It. Jake, yes, I actually was listening to that song not too long ago. That is a fun one. I kind of want to redo it and put it out again. Suggestions, anyone? Ooh, what is a... I think I finally made it to the bottom. Does anyone have a cover of a song that you think I should do? Because I've been trying to, like, play with some ideas here. Nothing. <laughs> uh... Oh, God. That was a tough one. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to plug a couple more little things here before I sign off. The Way Out EP comes out on May 24th. I hope you guys download it, share it, um, stream it, whatever. It would really, really appreciate it. I hope you like it. The entire EP is about the five stages of grief. And each song represents a different stage of grief. So right now, my song, If I Don't, represents Denial. Um, and I'm really excited for you guys to hear these other ones. I will warn you, this EP is very sad. It's a lot of slow songs. So if you're in that kind of mindset, I hope this is like therapeutic for you. Cry it all out. That's what I like to do. Um, but the whole point of this EP is so you know that there is a way out of, of this grief, this depression, whatever you're feeling. Um, so... I hope that this resonates with some of you, but just warning, 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 warning. It is very sad. This is not a put on in your car with the top down, riding in the sunshine kind of music. So I'm sorry, but I will put stuff out like that after this EP. So anyway, um, so that comes out May 24th. Um, I have a show at the hotel cafe on May 24th. I hope you guys can come celebrate with me. Um, uh, and then we're going to jump on over to a show in Georgia on the 31st of May, a show at the Bluebird Cafe on June 1st, a show back in Georgia again on June 2nd, and then I've got some performances and some meet and greets going on during CMA Fest, which is that next weekend, uh, the second weekend of June in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, what else can I tell you? I've got my music video coming out at the end of this month that I'm stoked about. Shout out to Emma Higgins for directing. Um, there's some more fun stuff going on that I will share with you through social media with the song that I'm very excited about. Um, what else? What else? When does it come out in Canada? I've checked and it wasn't available. That's weird. I don't know. I'll ask my team, but you should all, you should have it May 24th on every kind of streaming site, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon. Um, I also have physical copies available. You know what? I'm going to show you them. I'm going to show you these physical copies. Okay, you guys. This is my EP. It's called The Way Out. Sorry, it's got a glare because it's got this thing on it right now. Um, and then this is the back of it. So here's a little preview of my songs. There's a, uh, if I don't, do I come to mind? What ifs and maybes? Okay. And missing pieces. It's really cool. I've got, I hope you guys, um, I'll have these available on my website. I believe when it comes out and I hope you guys buy them because there's some really cool stuff on the inside, um, that I'm excited to share with you, including the story of why I named it the way out um, a thank you letter and little quotes and things that I'm, I was really inspired by. So anyway, um, so excited. Uh, shout out again to my neighbors for making this moss wall that's in the music video. Um, it's, there's just so much cool stuff happening and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So thank you for tuning in. Um, I, I love you all and I hope you enjoy this music and I hope it gets you through something. And I will keep up with you later, so <laughs> stay tuned. I don't know why I have to be weird. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and good goodbye.